What's happening everyone? This is Ivan. Did you know that Titanic had two twin brothers? One called Britannic and one called Olympic? Everyone knows what happened to Titanic, whereas Britannic sank during the First World War. Only Olympic had a career spanning 24 years and was retired in 1934, although one particularly interesting incident did happen in 1911. The giant Olympic, the new marine wonder of the world back then, was sailing in the open sea. Much smaller cruiser Hawk was steering along on a course parallel to the Olympics and was overtaking the Olympic. Its bow just passed even with the Olympic stern when suddenly, as if pulled by irresistible attraction of a monster magnet, the Hawk sheared in toward the Olympic. The captain ordered to put rather hard over to stop the shear and the engines were backed, but in spite all the efforts, the Hawk cut a great gush in the liner's starboard quarter. Royal Navy blamed Olympic for the incident because they didn't make way for the Hawk. It looked like a plain human mistake. In reality though, this was a physical phenomenon, sometimes called ship suction or ship attraction, which is now taught in every navigation school. These incidents probably happened before, but until ships became large enough, they were left unnoticed and unstudied. Now, what's causing this attraction? First, we need to understand the Bernoulli's principle. It states, that an increase in the speed of fluid occurs simultaneously with a decrease in pressure. This is basically the principle of conservation of energy applied to ideal fluid with no viscosity. For example, when fluid enters narrow pipe, its speed increases and thus pressure applied to pipe's walls decreases. The principle is named after Daniel Bernoulli, who published it in his book Hydrodynamica in 1738. But wait, what this has to do with the open sea? There are no pipes there. Well, that's only at first sight. When two ships sail parallel to each other, it is as if they create a pipe. In regular case, the pipe's walls are stationary and the water is flowing. Here we have the opposite. Pipe's walls are moving while water remains still. But the physics laws are the same in both cases. In narrow regions, water pressure is lower, while in wider regions it is higher. In other words, inner side of ships are subject to lesser pressure than the outer ones. We can clearly see what will happen next. Ships begin to attract. And obviously, less massive ship will be attracted with greater force, while more massive ship remains more stable. Thus, from a modern navigation point of view, it is the cruiser Hawk who is to be blamed for the incident. It took dangerous overtake of a more massive and longer vessel without taking into consideration the attraction effect. I hope you enjoyed this video, and if you do, please give a like and subscribe. Until next time, stay curious!